Paper Snob. This is Tara. Today I'm working on Scrap Lift Crafter Noon. We are scrap lifting this gorgeous layout up here, and I will post the original creator's information in that description box below. Please check out her Instagram account and leave her some love. She has some amazing layouts on her Instagram account, and I know that she'll appreciate any traffic that she gets to her account. She gave us permission to scrap lift this layout, and I am going to be using my July counterfeit kit, which has Chamel's main character energy in it. I'm not using these stamps, don't know why those are there. But I have a couple sheets of paper, some photos of a sleeping kitten. This is not the new kitten, this is Jasper eight years ago when he was little. And um, I do want to talk about the background. She has a lovely mixed media background. And I love mixed media and I love to get my hands dirty. But I am also trying to use up some of my Vicky Booten pre-made mixed media backgrounds. And this is one of those. I'm gonna add to it when we get started, but um, otherwise it's already got the beautiful inking on it and the colors that I need. And I hope that you will stick around and see what we do here. I'll be right back. So it was a whole struggle getting that bottle of Heidi Swap Gold open. It was stuck shut and the tube is down there in the bottom of the bottle as well. It fell out probably in transport between Kentucky and Colorado. But I am just kind of using it the best I can to get some gold splatters on here. I really wanted some gold. And I'm gonna add my favorite delusions white linen spray next and i'm going to put some white splatters on here as well i will also bring in a heidi swap color shine in purple i don't know like the exact color name it maybe it's grape or something like that but it's a really dark purple and ironically even after it dries it doesn't really look purple it looks black <laughs> anyway so that takes care of those and now i'm bringing in an old prima st um, spray i think these are called um blooms or something like that and they've long stopped squirting out of the nozzle which is quite annoying but this is a a light purple or a lavender if you will and so I set that aside to let it dry and now I'm going to do some paper tearing now I don't always do it this way I'm going to tear three edges of this piece and if you know me you know I don't like the thick white tears and so that's why I tore off that little bitty bit I am soaking the paper and I'm crumbling it up in a ball and then flattening it back out and I will let those dry overnight. I'm gonna do that with three sheets of paper. I'm gonna again tear this piece in the same manner, although I tear all four sides of this one. And that piece that I'm tearing off right now becomes a kitten toy in my house. I have found it in just about every room in the upstairs part of this house. He dug it out of the trash and he's been playing with it. It's so funny what kittens play with. And I think in the scheme of things, a piece of paper is the least harmful. Again, I'm tearing off that extra white bit that I'm not crazy about. And now I'm gonna bring in another piece. It is the back of the plaid and I'm gonna tear it on all four sides as well. It's already partially torn where I tore it for the plaid side. And of course, I'm gonna soak it down with the water again, just like you saw me do the other pieces. Now, you might ask why I'm adding water to this. Well, because when you add water to it and you scrunch it up, you get a, a lot more wrinkles. And when it dries, it's really cool. And so it's gonna kind of go on the page a little bit like this. Um, maybe not exactly. Now that the background is dry, I'm going to go ahead and assemble this layout. Now I will have to add white or um, wet glue onto this because 
you know, this paper is now wrinkled and it is also a little bit stiff from drying wet. That's okay. That it was the look that I was going for. I did butt the plaid piece up to the top of my background and then just layered the other three pieces. I will not be using any foam adhesive on these pictures. I thought I might, but once I got them glued down onto my wrinkled, crumpled papers, there was enough texture there without the fun foam. I am, however, going to be adding a little bit of fun foam to my title. I am using the cloud little piece here and I'm gonna pop it up and it says sweet little and then I'm going to take the word dreamer off that sticker sheet. Makes a perfect title. Um, kitten snuggles at night are the absolute best. Where Jo had her tag, I'm just going to put that tab. I'm going to add a floral cluster up here. Um, I will be moving it around a little bit off camera as well as on trying to get as much of those floral bits on there as I can. I'm gonna add a second floral cluster on the left hand, near the left hand photo. And then I'm gonna start adding some gold stars from the phrase set. I really adore this phrase set and I have been having so much fun using these phrases up. And I thought it would be great to get some of these little gold stars on here to finish off my layout. And that really, you know, makes me kind of happy that I'm able to get some of those things used up. Now I'm going to bring in some of these puffy stickers. There was a cute little moon. There's a couple little tiny clouds. And I'm going to use those around my title just to kind of give it a few more layers. All right, I got this layout completely done. And I'm going to say I am extremely happy with the way that this turned out. I loved that I was able to use up so many embellishments on this layout. Um, I did come in and add some journaling labels. Those came from a Pink Fresh Studio paper that I fussy cut all the labels out of it. And I keep them in a baggie in my label binder for this purpose. And I love that they actually matched the colors of this collection. And I mostly just adore these photos of my kitty. He is such a cuddler at night and early morning, but during the day he's a wild hare. Always has been, even more so when he was a kitten though. You know how kittens are, they love to play, 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 play. And he would crash in my lap at night and, and I would just, I would just eat it up. <laughs> Anyway, I want to thank you so much for coming to my channel today. Make sure that you check out that playlist in the description box below my video. We have one new member um, this month, and this is her second week with us. So make sure that you check out everybody's layouts. These ladies work really hard, and they're creative and amazing. And I know that you will be inspired by the things that you see in this hop. I know that some people think, ah, it's just a scrap lift. Well, you know what? A lot of us put our own spin on things. And I did a little bit here on mine. Made it work with the photos that I had and the embellishments that I had and the, the subject that I had. And, you know, sometimes people go completely rogue. I did a little bit last week. But, you know, and all in all, you can learn so many new techniques from just watching somebody's process videos and I hope that you will check them out. If you have any comments or questions, drop them below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your likes, comments, and subscriptions. I really appreciate it. Have a great rest of your Sunday. Bye!